Dogs are considered to be man's best friend, but there are dozens of different breeds out there, each with its unique personality traits and features. While some are friendly, others are more suited to act as guards. But the dog we are going to talk about today is an absolute cutie. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to tell you about the Corgi and why this goodest boy girl can make an amazing pet for you. So let us begin. Let's start with a little history. The Cardigan, the Dachshund and Welsh Corgi are members of the Tackle dog family. The breed is thought to have been present in Wales for more than 3,000 years. The Celtic tribes that came to Wales from Central Europe brought it there in its original form. Between the Tekel and the Spitz families, this early breed of dog represented a transition. The Cardigan's initial task was to lead his master's cattle herd and clear the path by driving away potential predators, as well as intruding herds, creating a space for grazing. Later, the Cardi started working as a herder, following the master's cattle and as a drover, transporting cattle from Welsh fields to English markets. At this time, the original Corgi may have mated with nearby sheepdogs to create a more adaptable working dog. In his prime, the obedient Corgi served as a cow dog, family protector, pet and vermin killer, in addition to other useful roles. A spitz type dog was brought into some parts of Wales during the Viking invasion a thousand years ago and the subsequent influx of Flemish weavers. These spits were crossed with the original Corgi to create what is currently known as the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. However, Corgis, who lived in regions free from these influences, preserved their original core blood and were descended from the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. The earliest versions of dog show as we know them now emerged in the late 1800s. With the development of machinery, several breeds value in their historical duties started to decline about this time. Numerous of these breeds might have disappeared if it weren't for dog shows. The public's interest in the corgi was sluggish to catch on. Classes for healers or curs were offered at some livestock shows around the turn of the century, but it wasn't until the 1920s that the term corgi was commonly used and any significant breed history could be established. Now let us talk about some of the advantages of this amazing dog. The corgi enjoys the friendship element that comes along with owning this breed. They are canines that are constantly eager to please their owners, so you'll have a cheerful personality at your side for a very long time. A stroll around the neighborhood is just the beginning of what they like. They prefer to embark on epic journeys. When you have the time, you'll notice that they enjoy riding in the car, going for walks in the woods, and exploring your property with you. The companionship that your corgi provides is reciprocal. They are highly sociable themselves, but they also expect you to be sociable with them. When there are other dogs living in the house, this breed usually does well. When their activity levels are high, you can anticipate seeing races around the house because of their herding instincts, which make them chasers. If you live with a cat, this game will occur regularly. This dog enjoys chasing all other dogs at the off-leash park. Additionally, you must be ready for your new friend to follow you wherever inside the house. They will enjoy following you around, watching everything you do and wondering whether any treats will fall to the ground. Corgi owners frequently describe their dog as being similar to a small German Shepherd. They fit this description in part because of how they look. They closely resemble the larger breeds in the herding group in terms of their muzzle, coat and ears. Even the Pembroke Welsh Corgi shares the larger dog's personalities. Anyone who has ever considered getting a German Shepherd will find that the Corgi is a good compromise that will satisfy everyone because of their smaller size. Oh, and another amazing element is that with this dog, you will never have a boring moment. These canines have a high level of activity thanks to the testosterone and the food they consume. Expect your Corgi to be up and ready and go ahead of you whenever you want to engage in an activity such as a game of fetch, a game of tug of war, or even just a walk in the park. They are rarely slothful and will always be ready to participate in whatever activity you have planned. You might consider adopting a different breed of dog if you want your pet to be a lap dog. If you take proper care of your corgi, you'll have a friend who can easily live for more than 15 years. Even if you consider the Pembroke or Cardigan Welsh Corgi's normal lifetime, you'll have a companion for 12 to 14 years on average. They learn things rapidly, so you'll want to show them as much affection as you can but their stubbornness can occasionally be disappointing. If you're prepared to be dependable, put in the effort and remain committed to the process, your patience with them will result in a lifelong friendship that you'll always value. 
Now let us talk about some of the disadvantages of this dog. Shedding is the most common issue. The Corgi is one of the breeds with the greatest levels of shedding frequency, according to the American Kennel Club. Due to the dog's weatherproof double coat, which is extremely thick for its size, this shedding can be quite heavy. After the thin undercoat, there is a thick, gritty outer layer to manage. Daily shedding will occur, with the output perhaps doubling for the spring and fall transition. Oh, and if you have other small pets at your home, then be ready for some fights. When it comes to certain creatures like rabbits, gophers, mice, cats, and even other dogs, corgis may be incredibly violent. They have also reportedly eaten pets like frogs and raccoons. The corgi may not always get along with other animals or people, depending on how they were socialized. They could also find it challenging to relax. They might be incredibly submissive and serene towards one person while being incredibly hostile toward another. Their hostility is unaffected by their size. Some corgis don't enjoy expressing their emotions or greetings to other animals vocally. But those puppies are the exception rather than the rule. The cardigan cousins of the Pembroke Welsh Corgi are also highly vocal. They can get really boisterous if they don't have enough stimulus during the day. It could be challenging to maintain them in an apartment or condo building because of this. These dogs are perceptive and will rapidly detect any odd or new sounds that are made in their vicinity, including the leaf that just blew into the door. They'll bark at anything that poses a hazard. This implies that while this breed can make a great watchdog, its pleasant disposition frequently makes its bark worse than its capacity to protect its property. Corgis have a tendency to overheat. They are prone to weight issues. Therefore, you must be firm and reliable with feeding. A corgi's weight levels will quickly rise to an unhealthy level if they don't receive enough activity. Due to their longer frames, this breed is more susceptible to developing hip dysplasia and back issues if overloaded for an extended period of time. Overweight corgis are more likely to have invertible disc disease. To prevent your dog from absorbing too many calories, keep an eye on how many goodies you give them during training and adapt their normal feeding schedule accordingly. Corgis dislike being left alone for an extended period of time. Their concept of length will differ from what most people would think of as length. If your dog is left alone for more than a few hours, boredom can easily escalate into destructive behavior. If you have a Pembroke Welsh Corgi at home while you work full time, you'll need to provide them with many toys and games to keep your furniture, shoes, and linen safe. Your lifestyle will be better suited to a breed with a more independent spirit if your schedule is unpredictable and you can spend long stretches away from home. So that was all the time we had today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon on your way out. Till then, see ya.